In general, in the vernacular, we think of holistic counseling as dealing with the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. I think there are some more refinements that we can put on that. And I think there was a great revolution in consciousness that has been happening over the last century and it's come more and more to the forefront. And one of the ways to explain it in rational terms is that we are dealing more with life as a system rather than life as a linear process. Life as a whole rather than life as an ABC causative. And this impacts us when we're dealing with individuals as a counselor because, first of all, we're seeing answers that's coming from within the system itself rather than people are injured, people are deficient. We, as outside agents, have to give them what they lack. Knowledge, enthusiasm, inspiration, whatever. That's pretty much a fast track to burnout right there. <laughs> but this is easy to say that everyone has the answers within them. But how do we actually live that? How do we actually help educate, which is uh, from the Latin root educare, which means to lead forth from the individual what their own solutions are. It doesn't mean to say that they know everything that we know. Indeed, some of the things that we bring to them can be very useful tools, but the tools are there to discover what the wisdom is from the inside rather than give them answers. So I don't see I'm going to give a big argument on this thing anyway here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But again, we know this, but when we get down to it, oh, do we want to give that advice? <laughs> Ooh, we just aching to point out what's wrong with you and how to change that. <laughs> so. Secondly, operating from a systems perspective, the elements of the system are support one another rather than let's find the bad apple. Say you're dealing with a family and there's some dysfunction going on in the family. Well, let's find out who's causing the problem, which is a traditional way of, you know, what's the bad apple? You know, and once you get rid of that or fix that, then everything is going to function well again. Well, looking from a systems perspective, we're more interested in how the whole system works together rather than assuming that it's one element of the system which is causing everything else not to work well. I will talk about this a little later and when we look at various holistic approaches or what I consider the forerunners of the holistic counseling. And one of them is a family systems theory and that was pioneered by Murray Bowen at Georgetown uh, in the 50s. As a, a psychiatric resident, he was given a task or was taken himself with the task of studying schizophrenia. And rather than just isolating the patient on the ward and doing observations and poking and prodding, uh, he had an innovative idea, put the whole family on the ward. <laughs> ah, now the behavior of that one person began to make a lot more sense, mm -hmm. seen in the context of what went on in the entire family system. And that led him to a whole, as I said, new branch of uh, learning around uh, treatment. And that is you, you can't treat one individual in isolation. One individual may just be, well, often is, the voice or the, the symptom of something that's going on in the entire system. You may indeed medicate one person so they don't look so obvious, <laughs> but you haven't really changed the functioning of the system itself mm -hmm. to be more optimal in terms of supporting everyone's individual needs, everyone's individual path. So how versus blame is an important element of the holistic approach. Now, I talked about a family, but that could also work just with the individual model. So parts of an individual, there's lots of parts work, and parts theory right now. So it's my uh, chutzpah, it's my drive, that's the problem. And if I just 
get rid of that, then my life, well, you no, know, there's a balance issue going on here. There's a, a bad part of me. It's my anger. Well, if I just get rid of this anger, well, anger is there in my vocabulary. It's gotten a bad rap in life because it's been translated as hostility, uh, destructiveness. Well, that's not really the point. It's like when I get frustrated, it gives me a little extra energy to remove an obstacle, get something out of the way for mutual benefit, mutual support. So, loving determination is what you might call it. But the seeds of it are, are there, and if they're not addressed and dealt with and honored, then they get to a let's say a, a breaking point. Mm -hmm. And then I no longer am respectful of other people's boundary. I just will. So third aspect of a holistic approach is the principle of the hologram. And that is that the element always reflects the whole. And so if there is an issue going on, let's say with one sector of the community, let's take uh, the sector that uh, Terry deals with, which is uh, a sector of the community which often is seen as the bad apples and we got to get rid of them. And yes, they're hurting and their life is miserable. These are men that have become abusive. And if we just maybe medicate them enough or do... And so these people are in pain. What's that got to do with the rest of us? Put them in jail. Get them out of sight. So when any segment of the community is hurting, it's a reflection of something going on in the entire community. And when you don't see that, then the thinking is, well, you know, we need fossil fuel to run our factories, to produce the quality of life that we've all become accustomed to. So what's a little black lung disease among a few <laughs> smaller? <laughs> yeah, sector mm -hmm. of the population. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to sacrifice them for the good of the whole. Uh, like I said, I know I'm not going to get a big argument from this group, but <laughs> those are obvious things. But we got our own versions of that where we can get into, well, I, well, I just got to sacrifice and stay up extra late tonight, you know, for the greater good of, you know, so we start mm -hmm. sacrificing parts of ourselves. <laughs> you know, and that's seeing that as one part is suffering, that eh, it's definitely affecting uh, the whole system. So what we're looking at here is uh, a revolution now in how we approach life. Not that this is an interesting theory, but that we live it. And we particularly live it when we're doing our work, we're doing our services, counselors.